this exhibition is really about the moment of that year particularly. It was after COVID and it was a year that everything was opened up and finally I can rejoin with my friends from Berlin. The title of the exhibition is Rendezvous in Time, which is like the sort of memory or moment, so even images in our life that has been fixed in that time and space. And sometimes you want to go back to search for those kind of feelings. And sometimes you want to go forward to make it happen. It's pretty much that kind of feeling that I'm, I'm searching for in this exhibition. This exhibition is so much about yearning after the feeling to be with your folks, your peers. If you are that kind of person that put yourself or choose yourself to be in a certain remote places, but that place doesn't bring friends and family around, you know what it means to be alone and to be lonely. I call it sweet solitude because it's like it's a solitude that you accept it, and that solitude brings a sort of romantic memories. I think in a lot of my paintings, it contain those kind of sweet solitude. Because I think the fact that I was growing up in a small town and having like bigger brother and sister studying away from my hometown, so that solitude, it's a solitude that like you're really looking forward for that day that they're gonna come back. When I was in London, I went to the exhibition of David Hockney at the National Portrait Gallery. I got an instant realization that I wanted to become an artist, to become a painter. I always thought that I have like the sort of artistic, I, I, I draw good in my um, school, in my class, and etc. But I never really been nourishing it or developing it. I just went to the art supplier, buy myself the set of oil painting and some canvas, and then I just start to, to paint and draw whatever I feel like. I paint a lot, like, you know, just the steel frame from the film that I like, like Aki Karismaki. I moved to Berlin, where I would stay for like eight years. And during those years, I studied a lot, and it proved to be a hard year, like hard, hard years, because I didn't get to focus on the artwork. And then when I moved to uh, Lyon, when I wake up every day, all the task that I did wasn't involving artwork at all. And I asked myself, why are you in Europe? Why you stay here? You stay here because you want to become an artist. I'm just gonna focus on the artwork because that was the purpose of my life. So I just focus on doing the painting and then, yeah, and then I won the prize. It's just, just a like dream, just so big and so, so lucky to be living an artist's life. And when I really work on the painting, I will start my day doing my yoga. I consider yoga part of my practice because I'm interested in looking for the center, the place that you can be grounded. I think the fact that I have been living in many places, the feeling that you can be grounded and be centered in one place is really important. So that's how I like to start my day and practice my artwork. And then when I get to that state of mind, then I will transfer, like start to, to work on the painting and transfer all those ideas, all those feelings. Each of those corners and those elements is really something like living to me, is like something that speaks to me. In this exhibition, I have the new approach because I studied film before. I worked as a casting coordinator for some years. And so I put a manual of filming in, the, in this preparation of the exhibition. For example, I have two or three paintings that is Miss Ong Sen like means that literally there is a set or an environment surrounding a background or a setting that I already have in mind and that is not necessarily the same place as the sitters. Then I will invite them to sit for that paintings. So what I did with them is really much the approach that we did in casting which is like I will make them act but acting in this sense is like just acting out what they used to feel before. Like for example, sitting in the cafe alone, how they felt to sit in the cafe alone. 
That is one way of doing, and another way is the New American. Uh, it's um, day for night. I put like some of the artwork that has been um, prepared in the daytime, and I just use them as a reference to paint at night time. This is our third year in, in Van and in Brittany. The influence of this place come out a lot on my work, especially the lighting, the lighting here. It's so, so dynamic. Everything comes from everywhere, but in the sense of nature, like it rain on everyone, it wind on everyone, and it shines a sunny day on everyone. So that's what I really like, love about nature and about Brittany. <laughs> and when you are in the nature, you are part of something that you become so entirely small. It just like, reminds you how small you are and how unimportant you are. The nature treats everyone the same.